teaching tips with me, Sally Cathcart. And this week, I just wanted to very quickly share with you um, some words that I was using yesterday and that I've used before. And it's some of those words that you use and you go, yeah, they're really good. They're, they work well in a lesson at giving the right idea. And then you kind of forget about them for a bit. And then they just popped into my head again yesterday and again they still work so I thought I'd share them and the words very simply are um, when a student is trying to do something like play a scale but they insist on going really fast at it and obviously the sound isn't right or basically they're giving themselves a hard time um, and what I what I like to say is what advice would you give to your best friend if you if your best friend was doing this what would you say to them and of course they they turn around, they go, go slower. Well, there you go. Be your own best friend. So those are my words that work. Turn around to your students, say, be your own best friend. What advice would you give to your best friend if they were having problems with that? You know, and you can talk about scales. You can talk about issues with, with a bit on the piece, you know. Um, for example, if they were having their head down and playing and the memory wasn't quite there for what it was that was up here. Well, what would your best friend say? if they were to help you with this and you know nine times out of ten that student will know exactly what to say to themselves and then you kind of go isn't it funny we'd say that to our best friend but we give ourselves a hard time and you know you and i are guilty as this as anybody but it's so good to do it with our pupils especially the younger pupils so they really begin to get a sense of yeah i i don't have to give myself a hard time that's the end of today's Tuesday teaching tips. Tuesday teaching tips. Be your own best friend. Happy teaching. Bye for now.